Hi, I'm Lori and I'm here to share with you my passion for nutritious food and sustainable living. We'll see if these foods meet my dietitian's stamp of approval and why these foods are not only good for you, but also good for Earth. Chocolate. We use it to celebrate, to seduce, to ease our worries and delight our taste buds. For those of us that are trying to eat more healthy, ethically and sustainably, when it comes to chocolate, it can be a challenge. So we spoke to chocolate arts owner, Greg Hook, who has a passion for chocolate, as well as organic and local foods. We're a small company, so we look to support as much local as we can. I know where we got our peaches from. I know where we get our pumpkins from. I know where we get our basil from, our blueberries. And we've generally bought the same products from the same people for, you know, going on 12 to 15 years. If I buy it from local, there's just, it's more, I pay more, but if I buy a cheaper thing, there's a hidden cost because it had to come here. There's an environmental cost. There's all sorts of different things that I just don't buy into. I have some young children, and I just want to make sure that they can have blueberries sometime in the future. And that's the only thing I can control on it is by promoting that. There are 50 million people around the world that depend on cocoa for their livelihood. Yet we do know that cocoa beans can be grown in areas that result in deforestation and child labor. We asked Greg how his chocolate business deals with those sorts of issues. The chocolate that we get, we get from a, a supplier whom uh, we've, we've done our research on, who practices sustainable uh, practices in a lot of the cocoa growing areas. They're building schools and every year we review where we're getting our chocolate from. Why would your supplier not be fair trade certified? Well, what they determined when they looked at the fair trade process, they had already been practicing a lot of the fair trade practices, but not been certified. To ensure the chocolate you consume provides you with health benefits, keep it to 130 grams square a day and choose at least 70% dark chocolate, as the more cocoa in your chocolate means less room for added fat and sugar. They have nearly twice the phytonutrient content of red wine and three times that of green tea. Like as far as we know, we're the only company in the world that makes a rhubarb chocolate because I've never seen anyone else do it. And part of that is just an homage to my prairie grandmother. We use this actually for a, a chocolate. So this was picked yesterday morning. They delivered it to us last night and we process this where there's no heat involved. So that then what we try and do is capture it because when you taste it, you want to be able to go, that's basil. Chocolate, as with any food, the less processing and high heat temperatures it's exposed to, the more nutritional value it contains. <sighs> Flavonoids, or phytonutrients, are the plant pigments that give chocolate its dark, rich color. Even though the cocoa in dark chocolate contains heart-healthy phytonutrients, the added sugar and cocoa butter make it an energy-rich food. So if you're not engaging in physical activity to burn off those calories, the health benefits will disappear along with your waistline. I think they should rename this one the Dietitian's Delight. It's made with dark chocolate, cocoa nibs, and cocoa. As well, it's in the perfect bite-sized serving. For Shaw TV, I'm Lori, and this has been Good For You and Good For Our Earth. Farmfolkcityfolk.ca, good for you, good for our earth, has been brought to you by Farm Folk City Folk.